Sport Fishing on the Fly is brought to you by Maui Jim Sunglasses. First Tellurium Corp, the future of mining. And Hardy, rods and reels. Well, hello everyone. My name is Rick Pasek, and welcome to another episode of On the Bench with Sport Fishing on the Fly. Uh, today, I'm going to be tying a little European um, snatcher pattern. Um, it's a fairly simple little pattern to tie. Um, extremely effective. Uh, we don't uh, we don't use enough of these old school patterns here in in North America. Um, they are extremely uh, extremely good, successful. Yes, they're old, but they still work extremely extremely well. So let's get her going. Uh, so in the vise, we will be having as soon as I get one out of the box. Um, a hens BL 254N in a size 8. This is a, a 2X uh, long, strong, uh, 2X strong, sorry, bent in point. Uh, extremely good hook um, for this. I'll be using some Semperfly Nano Silk in black. Uh, I'll be using some hens peacock dubbing in the number one here. This one right here, the green, the actual peacock color. Now you can use any color you want, underbody wise. Um, I quite often will use this red as well, but uh, today I'll be using the peacock. I'll be using some black cock hackle for the main hackle. I will be using some uh, red or furnace um, dyed hen hackle. And I will be using some oval tinsel. Okay, let's get her going. So start my start my thread. Actually, I'm gonna just uh, help because this nano silk can be a little slick on the hook. Just wax the thread a little bit just to get it started. Now the key with this one is to leave yourself the room you need at the front. That's the absolute key with these snatchers, dabblers, crunchers, any of these these types of heavy hackled flies. So I don't want to go any further than that. I'm going to open wrap and I'm going to, that's where I'm going to start building my body that's there. I don't want to come much further than that forward because I need room for hackle. So now I'm going to attach my oval tinsel. Come on back to where I stopped, just past that bend of that hook. I mean, that sorry, the point of that hook. Clip that into my material clip to keep it out of the way. I'll just focus that a bit. There we go. And then, now I'm going to tie in my uh, dubbing. I'm going to dub this now. So now I'm going to take a little bit of wax. Just wax it. I've been doing a lot of work with dubbing lately, so there's dubbing all over my wax. But I'm going to take the green number one. Now you can do it in a dubbing loop. You can hand dub it. it, it it's totally up to you. Depends on the, the look you want. Um, in this case, I do want it a slightly more compact body. Uh, you can do it with a loose body and, and pull it out as well. Um, it's it, totally up to you. And I would actually have several different um, versions in my box um, just because you just never know what they want on any particular given day right so every time I go around I'm just tightening up my dubbing just to make sure it stays roughly that same thickness okay stroke that back just a bit and then I'm just gonna go back over top just a little bit okay so there we go. So that's good. Now, like I said, I could brush that out if I want, but I don't want to. Here is my black cock hackle. Just going to strip off some of those barbules at the end just to expose the uh, center stem. Tie that in. Fold back that center stem and tie over top of it. That just helps, really helps lock that down. Okay. So, there we 
go just get that pull that out that center stem there and just nip that off you don't absolutely have to but so now a little hint whip finish or half hitch here right off when you'll be doing the next stages here you, you can have a tendency of knocking things off so okay so two right at the front and then yeah, about an eighth of an inch I want about six eight wraps at least maybe even ten I want this fairly heavy bodied with the hackle okay and then bring my oval tinsel around once right at the back and then open up and I want about four to five turns of that come to there tie it off fold that back tie it off always fold them back just helps lock things in then another half hitch whip finish whatever you prefer cut off that stem if you've got one that's easily breakable you can just helicopter it off I know those don't break that easy so I didn't helicopter it okay so now we're gonna get one of these hackles here let's see if I can find a nice one that one there is pretty good that lengthwise yeah that's pretty good so slightly longer the barbules here I'm gonna strip off all this under fluff I don't want that but I do want some of these longer barbules here to start so again tie it in on my side with the colored side facing out I want the, the brighter side out. I you want to make sure that the colored side or the shiny side out towards you. Again, a little half hitch, whip finish, whatever you prefer. Cut that excess stem. Now I'm going to grab this with my hackle pliers. Now, depending on your, the hackle pliers you like, some are easier than others. This is the one from Stonefoe. Really like this one. Actually, they make a couple of them, but different styles so right up against that that let the start of that first hackle one one right in front of that pull too hard two minimum of three I usually like doing four splayed out on me so just reverse it which is totally cool right in front of that and one more All right right there okay don't worry about what it looks like tie that off let go stroke everything back including that piece that you're going to end up cutting off build up a little bit of a head here coming back over top of it to force it to lay flat forces that all those materials to lay back do a whip finish here once it's nice and tight cut that off get your excess feather there and again you can if you know it's brittle enough you can helicopter it just like that it comes right off and there is your finished little snatcher pattern that's it really simple they're little uh, these 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 flies are, are just so productive uh, I like I said I don't know why here in North America we've gone away from them but uh, we have so now if you want it you could take your dubbing brush and just give it just a little bit of a brush out to get some of those long fibers 
coming out of that uh, you want that if you that dubbing if you want to just release some of that dubbing that's fine anything that's not cooperating you can pull off and there it is there's your finished fly great little flies uh, uh, rainbows in lakes absolutely go crazy for these things um, so alrighty Hope you guys enjoyed that one, and uh, thanks for tuning in to another episode of On the Bench with Sport Fishing on the Fly. Tie lines, everyone.